what's poppin y'all this your boy bishop back for episode 95 of shit that be on my mind if you like what i be saying hit that like button hit that subscribe button today i'm coming to y'all with the title of do the democrats own the black vote and what made me think of that title and, and, and title of that is how they dragging ice cube on social media right now for putting out a contract with black america to the democrats and the republicans and basically the democrats said hey wait until after the election so they start they basically stalled him out debo you know what i'm saying they stalled him out you know what i'm saying trump and his people took the plan and made some adjustments to their plan right so me honestly i don't see nothing wrong with that but you got a lot of negroes you know what i'm saying uh young and old because i'm seeing them online young and old who like yo cube is a sellout cube is a uh whatever blah 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 you know what i'm saying so they dogging cube but i'm like yo that just show you how sick in the head we is dog like we've been voting democrats democratic as a uh, as a voter block in bunches you know what i mean not saying we ain't never had scragglers in the independent and republican parties and shit like that but as a voter block the majority of black folk been voting for the democrats for over 50 plus years 50 plus years man we've been voting for them and when you look at the household medium income ain't shit moved in that needle every other group is ahead of us man even the asians the the, the mexicans Folk who came here after we've been here since day one basically so groups that came here you know what i'm saying after us man it's ahead of us now how is that we get killed by the police we just get treated wrong in every aspect so for q to put a contract with black america you know what i mean that sets out 10 points of what we need for us to get somewhat back to where we need to be What's wrong with that? It don't matter who party, who party fuck with it. But y'all so brainwashed, man. It's like, I'm looking at folk online, male and female, black, like how a female will basically, excuse my French, but I got to keep a G on this one, man. It's like a female fucking a dude and he player and she mad. Then she want to talk about the prostitute or the stripper who sell her pussy and tell you it's going to cost you three fifty to get this pussy. Oh, she nasty. She a hoe. She blah, blah, blah. But she telling you it's going to cost you three fifty. You, on the other hand, giving your pussy away, hoping nigga love you and, and want to be with you. He fuck you and then leave you. Then you crying. That's how the Democrats do y'all, man. Every four years, they fuck you. Promise you, no, promise you some shit first. You know, they don't, they don't even sign a contract or, you know what I'm saying, a promissory note or nothing. They just tell you, yeah, yeah, vote for, vote for me, baby. You know what I mean? Like Kamala, she out there dancing and sister girl in it up and Joe Biden pumping his fist and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, yeah. Then you vote for them, they fuck you, and then you don't get nothing. When is, when is black people going to start demanding something for our vote, man? Like, really, when we going to start demanding, dog? Like me, I'm done with the whole promising shit. If an, I don't give a fuck who it is, Democrat, Democrat, Republican, if they ain't got no tangibles or no reparations on the table, I'm not fucking with you. Me and mine ain't fucking with you, period. I don't give a damn. You can, you can, you can ch try to scare me with that boogeyman shit all you want. My grandma, my great, my, my grandfather, all my people from back in the day, they live and survive that shit from the worst presidents, from the worst type of shit. Jim Crow, all that shit. So you can't, you can't boogeyman scare me, man. Well, if we get Trump in, he gonna do this. They doing the shit now. They did the shit when Obama was in office. The white supremacists in the police department, the white supremacists that was killing niggas wholesale, you know what I'm saying? They did that when Obama was in office. So what is going to be different? 
Like, think about it. When Obama was office, how many niggas got killed, dog, by white supremacist police and white supremacist suspects? And what did he do? Eric Holder, black attorney general. I forgot the uh, black woman that was after Eric Holder. She was a, a black woman and a woman attorney general after, you know what I'm saying, after my man. What did they do specifically for black people? What did President Obama do for black people? He signed a major bill for the police, the blue alert, whatever that shit was called, which gave them protection and funding. He signed the gay bill, which gave gays rights, protection, tangibles. Jews get it. White women get it. Why we why? Why is it wrong for us? To ask whatever party, Q asking whatever party. So basically, it's like niggas is saying that they basically own us. So y'all basically saying Democrats own the black own black people and own the black vote. Because when I pose that question on my social media, then nobody answer that shit. Niggas smooth walk past that bitch like whistling like, <laughs> yeah, because y'all can't answer that shit. You dumbass niggas, y'all basically. Y'all basically saying that our vote, our vote is already sealed and signed when it come down to voting. We don't, we don't, we don't post to negotiate. We ain't supposed to do nothing. We just supposed to, hey, you voting for Kamala and Joe Biden? Okay, then we all going to, no, that ain't how we supposed to think. And then just to be scared of Trump, Trump is a businessman. You think when he was in the business world, he turned down money when it came to niggas. Let's say he is racist, like a hundred thousand percent racist. But basically that man about green. Cause I posed a question to a nigga, he talking all that shit on social media. I said, now what if Chrysler, Ford and GM, which employs a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas living a, a pretty good life working in the factory. What if all them CEOs came on TV or put out a tweet or some shit saying something slick about niggas? How many niggas going to get up and leave their job the next day? How many niggas not going to go to work? And you know it's racist people through Chrysler, uh, Ford, and GM. But how many niggas going to leave their job, though? Niggas gonna show up, punch in that clock, put them twelve hours in, talk shit when they punch a, when they punch out the clock. It's a lot of racist motherfuckers, man. From man, I know people looking. Anybody looking at this, I know your boss is racist. You know your boss racist. Is you gonna quit your job, or is you gonna negotiate? For a raise or promotion, what you gonna do? So for Cube to step up, I fuck with Cube. I've been phone Cube since Cube came out. Nigga talking about Cube, then he didn't got soft. Nigga, nigga got smarter. Yo, he he created the big three with a, with a racist person that's linked to uh, Donald Trump, nigga. You think he could have started the big three with just niggas? Niggas don't support niggas like that, man. Like, stop playing, man. Like, I know a cat, I'm not going to say his business or say his name, but I know a cat in my hometown who started a business, and when he first started, he got a little support for black folk, but he damn near folded because he was... He, you know, he trying to, you know, hometown boy made good. You know what I mean? People, oh, I, I, I fuck with you. But they really weren't fucking with him. When he switched up his model, switched up his logo, switched up everything and started bringing in white folk, that's how his shit started banging. Then here come niggas. Oh, man, I knew you was going to make it, baby. You know what I mean? We fuck with you. Woo, woo, woo. You understand? And I watched that with my own two eyes from a cat that I know. So how was he going to start the big three? A whole league with just niggas. And niggas can't even sit around and, and, and figure out, yo, who gon who who gonna bring who gon hey, who gonna get the ribs? Who uh, you gonna get the cups? Niggas can't figure that simple shit out without arguing and without somebody trying to be better than somebody. So of course he had to reach out outside his race. Nigga, that's where the money at. Like, stop playing, dog. Do you start, do niggas really start a business and think, like, I'm only going to just sell my shit to just black people? 
Nigga, you're going to be broke. You got to think, I got to sell this shit to everybody. If niggas support it, cool. If they don't, cool. So that's just my thoughts on it, man. I'm going to leave y'all with one last. I'm here in Detroit, Michigan, dog. And Democrats been running Detroit forever. And Detroit is raggedy than a motherfucker. Do it got good spots? Yeah. But most of that's downtown or midtown. And then you go through certain areas and certain parts of the city that black folk personally then kept up. It's pockets within the city of Detroit where you can ride and it'd be a gang of fucked up houses, abandoned, tore down. Then you'll ride through another area and it, you, you can tell that the people took care of their property and they're still alive. You know what I mean? Older black people who probably worked in GM, worked in Ford, worked in Chrysler and kept that whole little block up. And it'd be still nice, man. The homes, grass cut, you know what I mean? Everything looking good. But overall, Detroit raggedy than a motherfucker. And this is a Democrat-ran city. Public schools, schools all, oh, man, they got abandoned schools. Schools getting torn down, man. So, why do we keep voting for them again? Like, if you go through all, this is Detroit. If you go through all the states where the cities is ran by Democrats, majority of them places is fucked up, man. Black people struggling. But they tell us we got to vote for them for what? Shouldn't we demand something? Shouldn't we demand better schools? Like, fuck all that. Well, if you vote for me, then I'll do something. Shouldn't we demand some shit first? Shouldn't we? Because then we can hold them accountable. That's like me as a man telling my baby mama, yo, I'm a, I'm, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, versus, some shit where you got a, it's a contract down there signed that you, that you promised that you're going to do what you're going to do. So then my baby mama can hold me accountable. Like, nigga, you said you was going to do X, Y, and Z. What the fuck? Why are you not doing what you're supposed to do? That's how you, that's how adult shit go. So I'm going to leave it like that, man. I just, I just think we need to think outside the box, dog, and all that trying to drag dog because dog is questioning or even having a conversation with the other side man y'all niggas don't know nothing about no no negotiation dog y'all niggas gonna be stuck where y'all at and still crying like 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 the honorable lewis minister farrakhan said on the video on youtube he was at um tavis smiley uh he when he tavis tavis smiley said have his little stuff going on for a minute and he'd get all the the big time folk and they sit around and talk and when Farrakhan talked on this Pacific, I forgot what year it was. I, matter of fact, 2010, because he, that's what he said. He was like, we sit here and always crying about jobs and justice. He said, when basically the march on Washington, when Martin Luther King did what he did, the march on, what was the cry? Jobs and justice. Talked about this many years later, what was the cry? Jobs, justice. When he did the Million Man March, what was the cry? Jobs and justice. And he said, wait a minute. We're in 2010. And what are we still saying? Jobs and justice, man. Like, when is we going to start thinking like, yo, we keep voting for these people crying about shit. They keep telling us they're going to do shit for us, but they never do shit. So why don't we start holding them accountable? Like, sign this piece of paper. Say on camera, yes, if I get voted in, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z for this group. Because Joe Biden is telling y'all right now, he own, you can go and see it on YouTube, any commercial. He telling you, when he get in office, him and Kamala get in office, first thing they're going to do is focus on LGBT rights. He done said that shit. So you know what they about to get, more rights, more protection, and tangibles. And what we going to get? A dance? A fucking rap video? Like, come on, man. Y'all got to smarten up out here, man. So that's my thoughts on it. Y'all have a good day. Peace.